Isfasala or Sipasala, in Arabic rendered as Isfasala or Isbasala, was a title used in much of the Islamic world during the 10th-15th centuries, to denote the senior most military commanders but also as a generic general officer rank. Islamic Eastern Persia, the title derives from Middle Persian Spah Salah, already attested in Paz and texts of the 9th century. It was the equivalent of the old Sasanian title of Spabed, which during the Islamic era fell out of general use and became a regnal title among certain local dynasties in Tabaristan and Khurasan. The titles of Ispasala and Sipasala came into prominence in the Islamic world in the later 10th century, with the rise to power of Iranian dynasties during the so-called Iranian Intermezzo. Among the Bayads, it was given as a sign of conciliation as well as of particular honor to two rebellious Turkish generals, Sabukti Jan al in 971 and, after his death, out taken in 974 fifths. With the growing instability of the Bayad states towards the end of the century, the usage of Ispasala became debased and it came to mean simply commander or just officer. Among the later Safarid dynasty under Caliph Ibn Ahmad, the title was applied to the commander-in-chief of the army, while Bahaji al hujab was a separate office, possibly commanding the slave troops. Among the Turkic dynasties, the Arabic and Persian titles were supplemented by the Turkish title Subashi. The Ghaznavids employed Sipasala and its Arabic equivalents in its original sense of commander-in-chief, but also for commanders of specific contingents of their army, alongside the use of plain Salah for less exalted generals. The Seljuk Empire and the Sultanate of Rum used a number of variants of the title, such as Ispasala i Buzur Gurumir i Ispasala, as well as a variety of other Arabic. Persian and Turkish titles both in a technical sense for the commander-in-chief of the army as well as the governors and army commanders of important regions, as well as in a more general sense of general officer. The title was also used by the Khwarezm Shahs, originally Seljuk vassals, who employed a unique variant, Qir Isfasala, for commanders of frontier regions. The Mongol conquest diminished the use of the title, bringing to the four Turkish and Mongol ones instead, but it remained in widespread use in the isolated and conservative regions of Gilan and Dalam on the Caspian shore. In Persia proper, it was revived by the Safavids under Shah Abbas I, replacing the Arabic title Amir al-Amara used until then. The office was apparently usually held by the Begler Baji of Azerbaijan, with Rustam Khan the most prominent person to occupy it. The post was abolished again in 1664 77, after which a commander-in-chief was appointed only in wartime. The title reappeared in the form Sipasala i Azam under the Lake Hayyar dynasty being held as an honorific by Minister of War Mirza Muhammad Khan Qayyar in 1858. The reformist Minister of War Mirza Hussein Khan Karzwini, who also built the name Sheikh Sipasala Mosque in Tehran in 1871, and by Chief Minister Muhammad Vali Khan Tony Carboni in 1910, use in the Mashriq, Bayad, and especially Seljuk influence, led to the spread of Ispasala, alongside other Persian titles, westwards to the Mashriq and even the Christian countries of the Caucasus. In Armenian it became a Spasala, and in Georgian Amias Pasleri, one of the four great ministers of state of the Georgian realm. The title was also in common use among the Turkic art Harbig dynasties of Syria and Iraq and later the Ayyubids, both for regional military commanders but also, uniquely, as one of the personal titles of the Atabegs themselves. The title survived among the Mamluks of Egypt, where both Isfasala and the Nisbab al Isfasalari were commonly used in the titulature of the senior commanders in the 13th century but it seems to have been debased and fallen out of use thereafter. It is still attested as late as 1475 for a Mamluk commander-in-chief, but by this time the term Isbasala was also applied generally to the guards of the Mamluk Sultan.
Among the Ottomans, Sipasala continued to be used but in a generic sense, the usual terms for commander-in-chief being Sirdar and Saraska, Muslim India. From the Ghaznavids, the title also passed to the Ghurid dynasty, rulers of Afghanistan and northern India. Under the Ghurids, Isfasala signified the commander-in-chief, but in the 13th century it denoted an officer in command of 100 cavalry and under the tough loose it declined to signify the commander of ten men. Aside from this technical meaning, the term continued to be used in the Muslim states of India in the 14th-15th centuries as a generic term for general officer, e.g., under the Lordi dynasty, or as commander-in-chief, e.g., in the Bengal Sultanate or the Deccan Sultanates. Under the Mughals, it was a title sometimes given to the Khan Khanan, the Mughal commander-in-chief, especially when he led the army in place of the Mughal emperor.